Okay, we have new details on the assassination attempt on President Donald Trump. The shooter, actually. Details, I think. This is about photos on a cell phone, a transmitter found. I don't know what any of this is about. I have not seen this, so I do not know what's happening. But as the details come out, I want to see them because I want to know what's on going on in the mind of this guy as he was going through this. And a very interesting mental health perspective about his parents. Please stay tuned because we're getting into that in a second. His parents have an interesting fact about themselves. Without further ado. Here we go. Photos. Transmitter. Let's see what's up. Tonight about the man who shot former President Donald Trump. Our sister station in Pittsburgh has exclusively confirmed Thomas Crooks was spotted hanging around the building where he climbed to the roof more than one hour before the gunfire. Wow. WPXI also reports through sources there were no police or sniper teams inside that building. That's a direct contradiction to comments from the Secret Service director. W yeah, like that's true. I think I heard that the building he was on top of, that that was a police holding station and that there were police actually in that building, local police. So now they're saying there was nobody inside the building? There's a lot of question marks on this, but the fact that they have some video from different phones, I think, that showed him on the grounds, not the actual grounds where the speech was, but outside of the grounds on the property that was surrounding it an hour beforehand. Very interesting. Thing. That's a direct contradiction to comments from the Secret Service director. WPXI also confirmed Crooks was on the building's roof where he shot at Trump less than seven minutes before a police officer confronted him. Here's Nicole. This is so interesting because I'm looking at all this and I, I, I get lost in kind of the mapping of all this. But obviously at the left side of the screen, those are the buildings behind the stage where he was talking. And that's also where I think the snipers were up there on that red type building. And then here at the bottom where the parking lot is, I think the shooter was somewhere over here on the left side of that first building, kind of behind the trees there, uh, at least what I was thinking. And then he shot directly over to the stage, which is almost right in the middle of the screen. And the stands, the, there's like stand here, a stand here, and a stand here, like in a triangle. And the, the stands on the two sides, I think, were in direct line of sight, which is why the bullets were hitting those people. He shot at Trump less than seven minutes before a police officer confronted him. Wow. Here's Nicole Ford. Tonight, we're getting the first images of what police found on Thomas Crooks after a Secret Service sniper shot and killed him. A remote detonator and cell phone. Sources telling... So what would the detonator be? Man, I wonder what they found on his cell phone. What would the detonator be? Did he have some kind of device planted that he was going to be able to blow something up? Or was that just... Was it not connected to anything? Shot and killed him. A remote detonator and cell phone. Sources telling me that Crooks was spotted looking at that cell phone and a rangefinder when this photo was captured nearly an hour before shots were fired. That picture and his description were communicated on police radio to the tactical command post just after 530. All this happening outside the AGR building, but sort Was that where... Was that where he was? Like, is that blood that has dripped down that that roof? Or is that just a, some other kind of stain? But it's like they're standing where maybe he crawled up on that roof in between the buildings. 530. All this happening outside the AGR building. But there we go. OK, y'all can help me with this because so I was saying, OK, the the stage is down there kind of in the bottom middle. And he was straight across, and the, they don't show the stands behind the stage or any of that stuff here, but that's where the direct line, I think, came across. So the trees really weren't in the way from the way this diagram shows. Sources tell us local law enforcement was never stationed in the building Crooks climbed, but an adjacent building. Ah, so they were in the building next to it. So they were on the property. But how are they not patrolling? Seen here. Buildings that Butler Township manager Tom Knight says were identified as a point of interest by planning authorities not on the local level. So the building was outside the event area um, and there was uh, you know, conversations about the logistical coverage of the building, uh, what the building um, had for access points and what access points needed to be controlled. 
As we exclusively reported on Monday, another message was sent to command about 15 minutes before the former. God, this is all just leaking out. But I think one of the things to pay attention to, too, is that the Secret Service and the way that operation is trained is different than local law enforcement who can't be expected to be trained at the same level or know how to do this the same way because they don't do this all the time. But on Monday, another message was sent to command about 15 minutes before the former president got on minutes. stage. Sources telling us the last sighting of Crooks, he had a backpack, but no sign of a gun. That there was a radio transmission indicating that there was a suspicious individual on the rooftop was, my understanding, was our, our officer's first notification to begin moving towards that building. According to our sources, Crooks was still on the ground when Trump took the stage and the Butler Township officers arrived to the AGR building as Trump moved to the podium. Two of the officers went to what appeared to be the lowest point from ground to roof. Um, one of the officers actually boosted the second officer up high enough for him to grab hold of the roof. He did, in fact, see an individual on the roof with a weapon. Knight says Crooks. So that was where the officer, I guess, got a boost from his buddy and, and crawled up onto the roof and then saw the shooter. Pointed the rifle at the officer as the officer hung onto the side of the roof, unable to reach his radio or weapon. Lost his own grip. So he wasn't on a, a ladder or anything. He was just literally climbing up and couldn't. I'm sure he panicked and freaked out like a rifle's pointed at me now. He's about to shoot me and probably just retreated onto the side of the roof, unable to reach his radio or weapon. Lost his own grip, right? Fell approximately eight feet to the ground. Not long after, those shots were fired at the stage. Crooks was killed, and the phone and transmitter were found next to him. But what's interesting with this is, what's the transmitter for? Now, mental health-wise, got another video to show you too, by the way, about this, which is coming up now. But this makes me wonder if I'd ever go to an outside event, a rally like this again. I just don't know. So now on to the second video, which is new details on Trump assassination attempt. And I guess it's just more added on to what we just saw. We do have new details on what the 20 year old shooter did before he tried to assassinate former President Donald mm. Trump at a campaign rally on Saturday. CBS's Meg Oliver has the very latest on the investigation from Butler, Pennsylvania. After their most high-profile security breach in decades, the Secret Service, along with the FBI, briefed lawmakers Wednesday on 20-year-old shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks. A source directly familiar with the briefing tells mm. CBS News that Crooks used his phone to search for images of former President Trump and President Biden online. Crooks also searched the names of FBI Director Christopher Wray and Attorney General Merrick Garland and looked up symptoms of depressive disorder. He visited the site of the attack at least once before the rally. Interesting. Investigators have yet to discover. This is interesting as they dive into that, you know, researching this. You can imagine what's going on in his mind. And this is where the mental health piece comes in about his parents, because what I learned was both of his parents were licensed counselors in the state there. I don't know what they did. I don't know where they worked, but they were licensed behavioral counselors, I guess, similar to what I would be as a licensed professional counselor here in Texas. But every state has a different licensing board and they do it a little bit differently. Basically, they were both licensed behavioral counselors. It doesn't shed a good light for me on my field. My wife and I are both licensed professional counselors and it doesn't have to end up this way. It makes me wonder what his history was, how much help he actually got, how much attention was paid to what he was going through, what the relationship was between him and his parents. I want to know all of that. Because it disturbs me that two therapists can be raising a child and this ends up happening. This should not happen. Help should be gotten way sooner. Saw so some video of a, a guy in his high school that said he got picked on all the time in school, but he was really bright and brilliant. Probably was brilliant. But look at what's circling his mind. He's searching up the presidents. He's looking into the FBI. He is looking up depression, self-diagnosing, and look. If anybody is struggling, they're hiding away. They are reclusive. 
they seem like off in any way, please ask, talk, get help. We got to do some more in this world to get mental health services out there. A motive. The Butler County District Attorney says local police informed the Secret Service before the event that they didn't have the manpower to station a patrol car wow. outside the building How? where Crooks ended up taking his position. He's going down! An analysis by CBS News confirmed has found the Secret... So here's, here is the, the kind of layout of everything. You got the stage there. Those one on the right, one on the left, I think is, are the ones where the bullets would go through and hit people into the crowd. There he is up on the top right on that building, uh, kind of on the, the, you know, it's a sloped building, but I don't think it was sloped very much. And then the sniper here on the bottom of the screen that, I, from what I heard, had eyes on him. He's gone! An analysis by CBS News Confirmed has found the Secret Service counter sniper team closest to the shooter likely would have had their line of sight to the building obscured by oh, trees, okay. making it difficult for them to see crooks clearly. The team far See, there's another. So there's two shooter teams up there that are looking at things. Further away, fired the single shot that killed him. Minutes after the shooting, cell phone video caught the former president arriving at Butler Memorial Hospital. U.S. Secret Service agents are seen with guns drawn around his SUV before rushing Trump into the ER. The two other victims who were injured have been upgraded from critical to serious condition. A private funeral is planned for the retired firefighter, Corey Comparatory, who was killed. As of this morning, former President Trump will not attend the funeral due to security reasons. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Butler, Pennsylvania. And Louisiana Governor Jeff Landry has ordered flags to fly at half staff today for the firefighter who was killed in the shooting. And with the Secret Service under pressure to explain the security failure. There. So there's the rally and there he is way out there in that field just walking around. A group of Republican U.S. Senators actually confronted the agency's director, Kimberly Cheadle, at the GOP convention last night demanding answers. She will testify at a House committee meeting on Monday. So there's more details. Bottom line, without getting into conspiracy theories and trying to figure it out because that's not my job, my job is mental health, and we need more mental health in this, this world, this country, for sure. We've got to pay attention to people who might be off, to people who might end up in this spot. And I, I put a lot of onus on families. I put a lot of onus on parents to be able to look out for their children and to see what's going on and to get help when needed. Help is there. Mental health matters. The more mentally healthy you are, the less destructive you are in life. So please pay attention to this. The reason I watch these videos is not to be able to draw attention to what, what happened here and how did this all go down? Everybody's curious about that as a person. It's saying, how does a 20 year old guy get to the point where he's trying to shoot the president and doesn't mind killing anybody else in the process? Something's wrong with that. Leave your comments, let me know what you think. Click the links if you want help. Mental health is out there, call the 988 number. Whatever you gotta do, please do it because mental health matters. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy. 